Welcome to another tutorial video from Tolomats. Make sure and subscribe for more. In this video, we are looking at finding the angle created between two lines. The angle that's been created can be either obtuse or acute, depending on the angle you're asked to find. The acute angle, as you know, is the smaller angle, which is less than 90 degrees, and your obtuse angle is the angle greater than 90 degrees. So just be careful when you're reading the question as to which one you're asked for. Um, it's easy to go between the two because you just look at the straight line and maybe do some subtraction from 180 um, to find the size of the angle. So just double read the question um, to be sure which angle you're trying to find. This is the formula for finding the angle between two lines. They're using the symbol theta here to represent an angle. This is in your log tables on page 19 also. And what you need here is you need to be able to find the slope of an equation of a line. So you're using two slopes. You're using M1 and M2. M being the letter to stand for slope. And you have M1 and M2 standing for slope 1 and slope 2. So let's have a look at an example. So this question is saying find correct to the nearest degree the smaller angle, so in other words the acute angle, between these two lines. Now, if you're looking for a more difficult question where you're asked to find the slope between two lines when you're given the angle, there's another video that will explain that. So maybe go and have a look at that one. But this video is just explaining how to find the size of the angle between the two lines. So according to our formula, the formula is written as tan theta is equal to plus or minus m1 minus m2 all over 1 plus m1 times m2. So we need to go off and find our slopes first of all. So I'm going to write down my two equation of the lines that I'm given in the question here and find our slopes. So my first equation of the line here is x minus 3y plus 4 equals to 0. I want to write this in the form y equals mx plus c and the m is your slope. So what I'm going to do here is I'm basically going to bring over the x to the right hand side of the equals and the 4 or basically add or subtract x and minus 4 from both sides. So that's giving me minus 3y is equal to negative x minus 4. So I've moved them over the equal sign. I'm going to divide across by my minus 3. That's like minus 1x. You can put the 1 in there if you want. Divide it by minus 3. Subtract 4 over minus 3. And the two minuses are giving me a plus, so that's positive 1x over positive 3, minus 4 over minus 3, which again can change to pluses if you want. But all I'm focusing here on is the number in front of the x, which gives me my m, so that's giving my, my slope. So the slope of the first equation of the line, so slope, or m, is equal to 1 third. So that's my first slope. I'm going to call that slope my m1. It doesn't matter which one you call m1 and m2. Uh, it doesn't matter which order you do them in. So that's my first one. I'm going to move on now to my second equation of the line. So my second equation of the line is written as 2x plus y minus 5 is equal to 0. Once again, I need to write it in the form y equals mx plus c in order to find the slope. I have a little bit easier on this one. I'm going to move over the 2x, which becomes a negative 2x, and move over to minus 5, it becomes a positive 5. Or if you subtract 2x from both sides and add 5 to both sides. So this one's a little bit easier. The number in front of my x, there's no division here, so therefore my slope, or my m2 in this case, is giving me a slope of minus 2. So they're the two values that I'm going to now use for my formula. So let's sub them into my formula and see where that brings me. So my formula is tan theta is equal to plus or minus m1 minus m2 all over 1 plus m1 times m2. Now the plus or the minus doesn't really come into play with these questions. We always kind of take the positive solution. Um, so if you're getting a negative answer, just always make your answer positive. Imagine that you're using those modulus brackets there if that's the approach you want to take. So I'm going to sub in my formula here so it's giving me tan theta is equal to 
plus or minus my M1 minus my M2. I'm just going to sub them in a different color here to make sure I'm following it correctly. So that's giving me a third and I'm subbing in my M2, which is minus two, all over one plus my first slope multiplied by my second slope. So my M1 is one over three and my M2 is minus two. Evaluating the top line of my fraction, I get tan theta is equal to plus or minus one third minus minus two. Well, one third plus two is what it's asking me there now because the two minuses make it positive. So that's giving me seven over three all over one plus a third multiplied by minus two is giving me one third. I now divide my fraction, so tan theta. I'm going to ignore the plus or minus here now because they're both positives and I know I have to take the positive solution for my answer. So seven over three divided by one over three, when I flip my fractions and multiply, that's giving me seven. So tan theta is equal to seven. I am asked to find the value of theta. So I'm basically going to move my tan over the equal sign. When it comes over the equal sign, it changes to tan inverse with the little minus one above it on your calculator. So tan inverse or tan negative one of seven. And when I go to my calculator, just make sure your calculator is set to the correct mode in degrees if you're trying to get it in degrees or with an or perhaps if it was in radians. But in this one, it's degrees. So I'm typing in tan inverse of seven, and that is giving me to the nearest degree, according to the question, 82 degrees. Now, the question did say, give my answer to the smallest angle. If the question asked for the largest angle, all I would have to do there is take away 82 from 180 degrees. So again, just double check the question, which angle are they asking you to find? Hope that helps. If you need to get the question, as I said, with the given the angle on one of the slopes where you have to find the other slope, uh, check out the other video. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.